I think at this point, I'm just going to be like the new DVD villain, I guess. I said a few things somebody didn't like, so... <laughs> Half the community is going to be on my... <laughs> bring it, I don't care. Why does so many people in the Dead by Daylight community seem to be trying to speedrun being the biggest... Today we're going to be looking at a streamer who, after being called out for being transphobic, decided to double down, and then triple down, and then quadruple down, and then five topple down? It, he did it a lot, alright, that's my point. So before we continue, I do want to issue a trigger warning on this video because it does feature some pretty severe transphobia. So if you think that's going to upset you in any way, please do click off this video, put yourself first, that's far more important. But without much further ado, let's get into it. So let's start by taking a look at the original clip that was posted to Twitter. Oh no, he's got the trans flag. Let's get you up that quick. So like, yeah, I'm not allowed within 100 feet of a school. What about oh, he it? He broke the pallet underneath me. Yeah, I can't go into any school zone ever. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with today. Now, there seems to be some sort of misconception about who says what in that clip, and the streamer himself actually refers to this. Well, if they would have done their research, I didn't say the second part. I even said that in the comments. I just said, look, he has a trans flag. That's all I said. And these <laughs> apparently can't watch anything back or comprehend anything, so they got to sit there and go, yep, yeah, he said that. But that's not exactly true. Granted, he wasn't the person who made the joke the first time, but he still contributed to it in a pretty major way. Basically, the conversation went a little bit like this. He spotted the trans flag and made the comment about it. And then one of the people in his swift comms call made the comment about them not being allowed near schools. To which the streamer laughed and then doubled down on that joke by basically repeating it. And in response to the clip, him and his buddy seemed pretty confused as to why people were having such an issue with him. I would assume that tweet's probably like half the community that doesn't really have a personality just trying to get me taken down for no reason. I don't I don't even know what was said in the clip anyway that upset everybody so much. I think people people just really read into stuff. It's really weird. They're just they're making issues out of <laughs> literally everything. Okay, well, then let's journey back. Let's give him another chance to explain his views on trans people. Implying trans people are groomers, maybe that? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I still stick by that. When there's drag queens reading to kids, that's kind of creepy, so. Um, we were talking about trans people, not drag queens. I, th I think you're a little confused. It was the part where you called trans people pedophiles. I mean, they, they kind of are. Not all of them, but the ones that are dressing up as women and reading to kids, that's creepy, yeah. Do you think that trans people and drag queens are the same thing? It feels like your anger is a little bit misplaced here, you know, like you don't quite know who you're angry at. All trans people are There you go. Clip it, ship it. Ah, okay, well that's a lot more clear at least. Now, you may have noticed throughout these clips a significant ignorance in this guy and the way he talks about transgender people and the entire issue in general. And I'm not going to lie, that's a pretty common thread with this guy. For example, here is what he says about transphobia. Also, transphobia isn't real, just like fatphobia isn't real, just made up words. Never in my life have I ever heard any of those words until like 2022. I mean, all words are made up. You know, they're, they're sounds that we make with our throats to attribute meaning to something. For example, if I say the word spoon, you know what I'm referring to, but I'm not going to dish my cereal into my mouth using the word itself. And if you're not even trying to prove that you're not transphobic, why are you getting so caught up on the word? Like the word transphobic means a fear or hatred of trans people, which you are clearly quite happy to show openly so why are you so annoyed with the word being used i'm really confused essentially why argue the etymology here he also shows a significant ignorance when it comes to what people should actually be mad at him about i feel like there's so many more things people could hate me for like maybe just being a horrible player at the game 
There's a lot of other things. I feel like me poking out a flag is the least of everybody's concerns. My guy, do you really think that being bad at Dead by Daylight, a video game, is is something that people should be more mad about than you spewing hate speech? Really? She needs to sort out her priorities. Now, interestingly, I did find a segment of one of his streams where somebody actually came into his chat and challenged his views on trans people. And that is what is going to make up the largest bulk of this video because I think it's really interesting the sheer mental gymnastics that this guy does with his viewpoints and opinions. Like seriously, if this kind of stuff was in the Olympics, this man would be running for gold and there would be no one who would be able to compete. Oh, I'm a transphobe now. You know what? If everybody's going to call me that anyway, yeah, f trans people. I don't like them. Get them out of here. You notice how he tries to deflect the blame? It's it's their fault. They've been calling me transphobe, so I'm just going to be one now. Like you weren't one before. See, I don't care, though. And bigots a BuzzFeed word, just like transphobia and fatphobia. I've seen the clip on you on Twitter. Good. Watch it a few more times, because that's who I am. <laughs> no, they need validation about themselves, so... Says the guy whose entire personality is dragging other people down to their miserable level. Yeah. The people who are just living their life, being who they are, being exactly what they were supposed to be, they're the people who need validation and who have mental issues. But the person who needs to spend all of his time attacking people and insulting people for just existing. Like, pot kettle black, call coming from inside the house, any of those phrases ring a bell for you? How is a bigoted a made up word? Because it's thrown everywhere. Bigot, trans, transphobe. <laughs> they just use it when they can't win an argument. I have an opinion different than theirs. They're like, all right, you're a bigot. Do you notice how he didn't answer the question? This person says, how is bigoted a made up word? His response was, because it's thrown everywhere. Okay, well, the word the is used very frequently and thrown everywhere. Are we saying that that is also a made up word that has no meaning? Well, yeah, because all words are made up. We've made this point, let's move on. No, 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 I never said anything about racism. Now you're putting words in my mouth. Transphobia and homophobia? I'm not scared of gay people. Oh my god. This is such a common thing that I'm seeing people do right now. They are, again, they're arguing the etymology of the word. So because the word has phobia at the end of it, they're like, well, I'm not scared of them. So that means you're wrong. Homophobia is very well known to refer to the hatred of gay people. Why all of a sudden are we arguing that word? Why are people so happy to be homophobic but not be called homophobic. Just fix the actual behavior. Stop trying to fix the word you're being called, you dafty. <laughs> these, pe these people are copy and paste of each other. They all throw out the same three BuzzFeed words. It's crazy. The irony of someone like you saying that. Tell me, where did you get the idea that all trans people are groomers? Was it perhaps from every right-wing media outlet who just made it up to instill hate and panic in everybody who wasn't trans and then you have the audacity to say that other people are copy and paste you don't even know what you're mad about you're just throwing out the the same sentences that you can hear on ben shapiro show for example i'm pretty sure you probably listened to that kind of podcast while you're falling asleep with the kind of shit that you're coming out with transphobia trans people okay <laughs> if you're a trans woman you're still a man wild concept i know and if you go from a woman to a man you're still a woman. It's crazy. But no, racism's real. And I'm not scared of gay people, so homophobia. I'm not homophobic. I'm trying to... Um, what? He took the question, and instead of giving an intellectual response, a genuine, well-thought-out response... He just spewed more hatred that had no relevance to what the person was actually asking. It's the kind of mental gymnastics I was talking about. Why are you scared of trans people though? No, I'm not scared of them. I just don't like them. I think they're disgusting people. Why? 
and they touch kids. So that's kind of weird. You have no evidence of that. Which the person in chat then says, by the way. Bold claim, look up half the transgender people that have YouTube channels. There's one that, his name's like, what's his name, Jeffrey, I think? Always asking to talk to kids. So, yeah, check it out. Oh, God. So let's start with the first half of what he just said, because there's a, there's a lot to unpack. This person says, do you have proof? He said, look at half of the YouTubers who are trans. Okay. That's not proof, bro. Even if you were accurate in that statement that half of trans YouTubers were groomers, that's not all trans people. That's half of a small minority of trans people. So by your own evidence, you disprove your own point. And then I think he's referring to Jeffrey Star, who isn't trans <laughs> and has never been accused of grooming anyone. He might be referring to James Charles because obviously there was a whole lot of shit about that person being a groomer and actually admitting and you know, acknowledging those accusations. But again, not trans. Who are you mad at, bro? Who are you mad at? And it's a little weird that when I say that, you guys get all get so offended. Is it? Is it almost like they touch kids? Who knows? No, it's because being called a pedophile is not a good thing, obviously. Because plenty of straight people molest children, why aren't you disgusted by straight people? Because it's not my personality. I think if you molest anyone, you're gross, but trans people are just... At least straight people know what they are. Trans people will need validation from everybody else and make up words. <laughs> what do you mean? My guy is doing the flips, he's doing the somersaults, he's hanging from the beam, he's doing every bit of gymnastics that he can. This person makes the point of all points. And by the way, this is a point you should make whenever somebody comes out with this bullshit. Oh, trans people are groomers. Well, many straight people have been convicted of molesting children. Does that mean we persecute all straight people? Obviously, the answer is no, because a few bad eggs don't represent an entire community. That would be extremely stupid to think. But when presented with this question, he says... At least straight people know what they are. Okay, by definition, somebody transitioning is them knowing who they are and taking considerable steps to become that person and to live that life. I really don't think you understand what you're mad about because you just seem to be throwing around all of these shock factor words and all these insults and acting like it's some sort of actual point in an argument. I, I, don't, I don't think you know, so how the hell am I meant to know? Being trans doesn't equal child predator? Uh, yeah, it does, actually. Oh, 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 well, that's all the evidence we need, then. What, what, I'm sorry, did you... Real, actionable evidence? No, 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 this man says that they are. Okay, that's all we need. Genuine proof that they've done such things? Oh, no, 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 you, you misunderstand. This guy says that they are. Because it's weird, they're trying to teach it in schools now, teachers and everything, that isn't, that's not creepy at all whatsoever? Or do you just not see any of that that ever happens? I know, right? I mean, this one time, my teacher tried to teach me math and, and algebra, and, and, and they tried to turn me into an equation, and it worked! Anyway, guys, let's continue with the video, shall we? If you think being transgender would be a child predator, not all of them. I think a good majority of them, though. Oh, it's not all of them now. Okay. Pretty sure you said all of them earlier. I hate trans people, bro. <laughs> it's so stupid in 2023. What's stupid is that in 2023, we have people like you who are still showing the level of ignorance we expect from high school students. The level of ignorance that comes from a lack of education on these issues comes from just ingesting right-wing bullshit media that's only goal is to incite hatred and fear. That's what's stupid in 2023. That's not what you said earlier, though. You said all trans people molest children. They probably do. And the fact that you're defending it is really weird, actually. Did you hear what he did there? Rather than actually respond to the questions that this person was putting, he just tried to make it seem like they were supporting the grooming of children.
Did you catch that? Mm. Common tactic, rather than actually engaging in the discussion of any magnitude or significance, they just try and attack and demonize the person who's coming up against them. It's a genuinely pathetic tactic to use. Now, if you're feeling confused on what his views are, because he says that not all trans people, but then it's all trans people, but then it's probably all trans people, but then it's drag queens, but then it's James Charles and Jeffree Star. You're not alone. I was confused as well. Thankfully for us, though, he has very helpfully distilled his views into an easy to digest couple of sentences. Yeah, I don't like the trans community. I'll say it again. Now, I have nothing wrong with gay, bi, or lesbian. None of that bothers me. It's just the trans that have the most to say, and then when you say something back that they don't like, even though they said it to you, they get very upset. This guy is trying to demonize the trans community for reacting to his words, for calling him out on his bigotry. And then when he replies with more bigotry and they still have an issue with it, apparently they're the problem. Yeah, makes sense, dude. Also, I'm not going to speak on behalf of the entire bi, gay, and lesbian community here, but I can speak on behalf of myself as a bi man. If you have issue with the trans community, you will have an issue with me because these are humans, just like me, who are just trying to live their life, exist as the people they are, and they're not hurting anybody, okay? Them being trans has no more effect on you than what I had for lunch today would have an effect on you. So you can say that you have no issue with gay, lesbian, or bisexual people, but I guarantee that your hateful bullshit that you've been spewing towards the trans community will cause an issue with many people in those other three communities. I just really needed to get that off my chest. And if you're going to come for me, you better come for me because you're with the wrong man. I can tell you that now. If you're going to come for me, come for me because you're fucking with the wrong guy. If you want me to come for you, you got to at least buy me dinner first. And I ain't cheap. Overall, this guy is no different to any of the other bigoted people that you can think of. He uses the exact same allegations that he can never back up with any facts or evidence and which completely fall apart at the slightest bit of critical thinking. He's not even remotely interested in actually having a conversation or a discussion. He just kind of wants to sit in his echo chamber and attack and demonize anyone who calls him out and he has no interest or empathy to the idea that what he's saying could be genuinely harmful to many people so on that point to anybody watching this video please please do not do stuff like this if you go and send hatred his way you are just making things worse he will take it and he will use it out of context to prove the crap that he comes out with. In fact, this guy has said that he plans to create a montage of all of these kind of comments that he's been getting as a way to prove that the trans community is actually a bunch of hateful individuals. The best thing you can do, and I say this after every one of these videos, is to use that energy to go and show love to someone. All right, if you know anybody who is trans, whether they are a creator or not, go show them some love, go do something nice for them, show them that they are appreciated, that they are respected, that they are valued, that the world is a good place because they are in it. That will be infinitely more helpful than anything you could say or do to this guy. And besides, the guy has clearly shown that he's not interested in educating himself or actually thinking any more deeply about these issues. He just wants to continue sitting and saying all the crap that he's saying. So what's the point in engaging with him? It'd just be a waste of time. I wanna thank all of you for watching this video and for showing support to the channel. I really appreciate it. Please do leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you think as per usual. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. Go out there and be the best damn crunks that you can be, guys. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye for now. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up, I never you know give I'm it. gonna take, take, taking that crown from you.